Yo, what is going on guys? Winter Kills here and welcome to a brand new Locals feature match. Here we are in round one for June 10th. So locals on the left, we've got Chan the Man, Chandler, the Alter Geist Master on the left versus Velarge TCG on the right. William at large playing the Math Mech Technique. Professor Finesser, I think, is <laughs> was his new nickname. So yeah, you guys might see uh might see why that's his nickname as uh we get into this feature match here. So Math Mac getting to go first here, getting their way to that circular via the sign up mining. And uh yeah, Math Mac circular resolving, dumping Sigma, Sigma bringing itself back, triggering circular to search the factorial, going to Elm Burchin. That's gonna go ahead and grab the diameter normal summon diameter bring back circular and uh you know we're off to the races business as usual going into cyber's wicked using the effect of alan burton tripping itself to bring back the diameter diameter don't i don't know why i said that weird and that's going to trigger cyber's wicked to add a cyber's tuner so that's going to grab another diameter so this is just going to be follow-up for the next turn and I imagine we'll probably see him link into the Deco Talker Heat Soul. I do see a Small World in the opening hand too. So we'll probably either see them turn that Small World into like a hand trap or something. I'm going to pay a thousand and draw first though. Although I guess you could argue they could have like decked in with a Small World first, then drew a card. Um, but it probably doesn't make too big of a difference here. So I do see another Mathematic Extender in hand. We know they have Diameter. We know they have Super Factorial. We know they have Small World, although the opponent doesn't know that. And yeah, so they are going to use the Small World. They're going to go ahead and turn a Nibiru here into a, an Effect Veiler, and then Effect Veiler into Ash Blossom since they both have zero attack. And then Effect Veiler and Nibiru only have light matching. Um, so yeah, I mean... Keeping the Nibiru, I guess, could also be correct. Um, but Ash, I guess, is just more overly generic. So I guess you can't go wrong with that. So we're going to see him set Super Factorial and pass. And we're going to see our Alter Geist player activate Wannabe during the end phase. And that's going to grab them a Solemn Strike, which is actually kind of insane. So now they just have a, you know, a Solemn Strike to, to go into the next, next turn with. And they're going to pay a 1,000 to use... Uh, the Heat Soul, and they end up striking the Heat Soul, which I, I don't know if necessarily that was the best idea. They definitely could have just striked the Laplacian Summon, and I think that would have just been insane. Um, unless there's some, like, restriction with Wannabe. I don't know. That is a relatively new card. Um, and it is actually kind of like Prosperity for, like, uh, Trap decks, too, which is kind of cool. Yeah, so we're going to see them normal summon the uh, Silcoitus, set three, and then it looks like as they attempt to leave main phase, uh, they are going to use the Super Factorial, and they're going to bring out the uh, the gang, and they're going to go into Laplacian, and they're going to rip, rip a wannabe from hand, get rid of the Silcoitus, and they'll get to send a back row as well. And it looks like that does hit a Altergeist, or not Altergeist spoofing, but a, uh, yeah, spoofing. And, um, yeah, sorry, that's right, it's not an Altergeist card. And they're going to Normal Summon the Diameter. Diameter Effect's going to bring back the Circular. There is Torrential Tribute. So I guess at least this f puts them on Have More Extenders. Um, and they already burned their Normal Summon, so that's not half bad, honestly. But they still have Sigma. And, yeah, we know they still have, I believe that's the Addition in hand. And they're going to go down Burchin. That's going to get hit with Solemn Strike. So I guess, you know, it didn't really matter entirely. Although they've just used all of their cards. When that one strike could have traded with the uh, Laplacian. Much better. But that does successfully stop the turn. So the pass. Alter Geist will draw. Unfortunately, had the pass. And we're going to see Math Mech start with Sigma. And into, I think that's Addition. And the other one's Subtraction. The one has like a cape. They look very, very similar though. But they were debating on possibly going for Rank 4. They've definitely, yeah, they've gone through both Alan Burchins, and I don't think they play two Laplacian. They definitely two, play two Alan Burchin. We can also see the final Sigma in the extra deck there. They're going to go for Link 2 into Splash Mage, and Splash Mage is going to bring back the addition, and then they go into Transco Talker. Transco Talker effect, bring back Splash Mage, and so long as that last card is not Effect Veiler or Imperm, 
yeah excess code talker will target the trans code talker to go up to 53 and they did strike twice already so they're down 3k and that's just going to be game right there and as we head into game two quick shout out to imperium duelist check them out at the link below and don't forget to use my discount code winner kills to off a check out to save 10 percent off your entire order and if you guys are buying anything on tcg player feel free to use my affiliate link as well so we're going to see a classic Altergeist play, Normal Summon Melaseek, Link into Link Haribo, try to search an Altergeist. That's going to get him with an Ash. Follow up with the Prospy, revealing the Droll, Torrential Skill Drain, Secret Village, Melaseek, and Marionetter. Um, and the Droll is kind of crazy. And the Secret Village would be kind of crazy too. I mean, the Skill Drain is like, I feel like Skill Drain and Droll are probably your two best takes here. They have still Coitus in hand. Yes, yeah, so they will take Skill Drain. Yeah, I mean Skill Drain's like pretty good. I don't know I don't know necessarily how they how the Mathmech engine itself out Skill Drain. Unless <clears throat> unless Axis Code I know Axis Code banished for cost, and Axis Code can banish itself, so I guess that's a Skill Drain now. They do have Duster, but they are just gonna go ahead and pay four thousand to say no to the Harpy's Feather Duster. And I'm just pulling up Wannabe real quick. It says, during the end phase, you can send this card from your hand or field to the graveyard. Excavate cards from the top of your deck. Equal number of uh, number of your opponent's unused spell and trap zones. And you can set one excavated trap to your field, but send it to the graveyard during the next end phase. Okay, so yeah, I guess if they end phase super factorial in that game, then they just lose the strike. So, I mean, I guess. Um, but yeah, we're going to see our Math Mech player... Be able to small world here into the circular as they are pretty much always able to. At least they didn't hard open the circular. They're going to go ahead and send Sigma and they're going to link Sigma or not Sigma yet. Yeah, link the circular rather into Lingaribo. And this will technically check the skill drain now, which is kind of important. But now they need like two bodies to keep. Okay, they just have diameter already. So they do have definitely two bodies they are going to strike the effect of diameter which is really really good i mean that's that's definitely a, a solemn strike is putting in a lot of work this game for sure solemn strike definitely uh i mean a lot of people always look at solemn judgment as being a very good card but strikes also very very strong trading very very well in this matchup so far they're going to normal summon Mellow Seek. And I believe Mellow Seek can attack directly. It's been a very, very long time since I've seen any Alter Geist cards, though, so. Probably could just go ahead and. Pull it up. They have gotten quite a few new cards recently, too. This card can attack directly. When this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent, you can target one card. Your opponent controls sent to the graveyard. And then if it's sent to the graveyard, you can add an Altergeist monster from your deck to your hand. So they could attack directly here, which I believe they might have already. And I don't think they actually end up using the send effect because if they do, that sends Lingaribo, which lets them, you know, summon Sigma. But then again, at that point, your skill drain is live and unchecked. So, is that really a bad trade at the end of the day? That's just kind of what I'm thinking right now. Is it really such a bad thing that, uh, you know, they get access to Sigma? I mean, so what? You still have skill drain, and they've already gone through dusters. We've judgment that earlier in the game. So, we're going to see them link off into a second Link Karibo. Melaseek effect to go ahead and search Marionetter. So now we have better engine for next turn. And they'll just go ahead and pass turn. Looks like Mathmech has effect Veiler in hand. And one of the cards which they've just drawn for turn. Sigma is not live in grave as it stands because they do have a monster in the extra monster zone. And... I mean, any play that they really have right now and. Like, unless it's, like, normal summon diameter, I feel like, yeah, it involves them linking off Link Karibo, which is, they know the skill drain is still set. So, they're going to pass turn, and they are going to normal summon Marionette, attempt effect, that's going to get hit with effect failure, okay, so that's, that's probably just fine. And Alter Geist looks like they have another Salm Strike in hand, and they still have Silcoitus. 
and I feel like maybe, maybe overthinking on the Sigma, but they're going to set Solemn Strike, and I feel like now, if you have Solemn Strike, you definitely could just go Battle Phase, attack over the, the Ling Rebo, and let Skill Drain just be playable next turn. Because you definitely want that skill drain to resolve. Because I feel like it definitely uh, goes a long way in this matchup. But I'm not sure what card they've just drawn for turn now. Because I believe they drew Valor last turn. They have Equation. And Equation is going to target Circular. And I'm curious to see what that last card in hand is. So, I mean, at this point, if they've not forced out the skill drain just yet, maybe they want to try to do that. I don't know. Each turn that goes by, though, the uh, Altergeist deck is gaining more card advantage. And double Link Rebo on board doesn't make it any easier to get over things in the battle phase. And it looks like they are just going to commit to linking off into Splash Mage. And I feel like if they activate the Splash Mage, you 100% chain skill drain. Whatever that last card in hand is, though. Imagine it was like a Cosmic Cyclone. So they end up using the Splash Mage. And they Solemn Strike. Which, I mean, I guess fair enough. And they're going to pass her. And I guess, I guess another thing, too, for all the guys, they probably do want to hold the Skill Drain for as long as possible. Because they really don't have much engine rolling either here. And the Skill Drain would probably hurt them a bit more and uh they're just gonna normal summon silcoitus and attack with everything not a whole lot of damage but i mean it is damage nonetheless and i i now i'm remembering there's some like uh some interaction that makes it so their stuff can't be negated by skill drain it's been so long, but I can't remember what that interaction is. And they're going to set another card, and they're going to pass turn. So we still know Skill Drain is set. Life points are well protected right now by the, the Link Rebos. I actually don't know if Link Rebo is a, a hard once per turn or not offhand. Because I don't think I've ever recalled myself having a situation where I've had two Link Rebos on board. And they're going to pass turn, and the Altergeist deck is just going to activate Secret Village, which that might just be a wrap right there. And Link Rebo is... The Graveyard effect of Link Rebo is a hard one per turn, but the other effect is not. And they're going to swing in with everything. Again, very, very tiny amounts of damage. And they're going to pass turn. The Secret Village is probably putting in some work right now. Skill Drain, of course, still being set. They're going to bring out Sigma. And if they have, like, an addition or a subtraction, I mean, yeah, they technically get more bodies on field. But they definitely aren't going to be able to go for game. Yeah, and it looks like they will just go ahead and mid defeat after a very, very long and grindy game, too. Skill Drain just never needing to be activated there, I guess. So in game three we go, where we will see Math Mech go first. And if they go first, it um, might honestly just be a wrap if we don't see any hand traps. Looks like they've opened in Prosperity, Torrential Tribute, Solemn Strike, Kung Query, and one other card. We're going to see them Normal Summon Diameter, Activate Addition, Summon itself out. And if I'm getting Addition and Subtraction mixed up, I apologize. But they just they look so similar. Uh, we're going to see him use Alan Burton to get Circular. Circular is going to go ahead and do, uh, you know, dumping the Sigma's cost. Special Summon Sigma, trigger Circular, add Diameter. Or not Diameter, sorry, add Super Factorial. They've already got Diameter set up in Graves. So they got their whole combo already set up here. And 
and maybe it's just as easy they, they could go for the wicked play here to get diameter follow-up they don't have it already or they could just go into splash mage and just go straight to the deco talker heat soul for the potential draw too but looks like they'll go for wicked and that's gonna proc parallel exceed which is also uh pretty good And they aren't really playing into Nibiru right now since they do have the Omni Negate underneath the... Uh, well, not underneath anymore, but they have Omni Negate attached to the uh, the Allen Burshin since it was summoned with Diameter this turn. The Link in a Splash Mage. Wicked Effect, Banish Parallel Exceed. That's going to grab a Diameter. And I wonder if it's worth, like... Because I know they could also go for... The Terra Hertz and dump the D Save Worm, which gives them a spell trap negate. And could also put a second diameter in grave to play around with things like Bestials and DD Crow potentially on the activation of Super Factorial. Because if you have two diameter in grave, it makes Super Factorial that much better. Um, Splash Mage will bring out diameter here. And if they want to respect Nibiru, they'll probably leave the Alan Burshin on field. Of course, they are now only able to special summon cybers for this turn, which is probably their whole extra deck, anyways. Unless they play like Baguska or Zeus, which those probably aren't coming up here at this point, anyways. See them just thinking here over what the next play they want to make is. And it looks like they're just going to go into Heat Soul. And then activate Heat Soul effect, pay a thousand, draw a card. So I'm not necessarily sure why they did the line they did. I mean, I get why um I get why they made the Cyber Wicked for follow up. But I'm also not sure why they didn't just like Alan Burchin bring back a guy, trigger Wicked, search diameter, make Heat Soul. Cuz now there's just a random splash made on field. I guess maybe to like Maybe if they want to, like, have an extra body on field to start the next turn to be able to go for game easier, maybe that, maybe that makes sense. And, uh, yeah, Deck Lockdown was also activated, which is a card I'm sure most people haven't seen played in a while. Uh, it's basically just, you can't add cards except by drawing. Um, so they can still draw under Heat Soul, but they cannot use that Prosperity there, so luckily that was caught, otherwise that Deck Lockdown would have just been played there for nothing essentially so we're gonna see also guys unfortunately be forced to set for end phase super factorial and uh this is gonna trade with two cards here at least and yeah here comes the uh, laplacian activating the effect detaching ripping a monster and a spell and trap that's gonna hit a for the prosperity which is pretty good and they'll hit a set which is gonna be the personal spoofing which is pretty good they haven't seen multi-faker this entire match so far, which is extremely unfortunate. And a Harpy's Feather Duster. Oh my goodness, that's why they call him the Professor Finesse right there. So that is going to be it. Village taking the match 2-1 there over Alter guys. Last but not least, a big shout out goes to our current Divine Level channel members who are Misfit 88, Cyber, Cadillacs 84, Pony Stark, and Green. Thank you guys so much as always for extremely kind and very generous support of the channel.